consider yourself warned. Do not take a babysitting job on Halloween. I'm the babysitter. I'll be the judge of that. Where's your charge? My, the kid, your child, the human being you're supposed to be responsible for. I don't know. These things came out from under the bed. They took him. Look, I tried calling the police, but they thought it was a prank. Hey, you can't go in there. What do these things look like? Um, they were small and fat, crazy teeth and weird hair. Joining us from the movie, A Babysitter's Guide to Monster Hunting. Please say hello to Tamara Smart. Hello, Tamara. Hello. <laughs> Did you like my hello? Yes, it was really good. Do, I, really say, good. do I say babysitter or babysitter? Babysitter. We Sitter. do pronounce that. <laughs> okay, so babysitter. So we're talking babysitters and monsters for this Netflix amazingness. So talk to us about it. So, A Babysitter's Guide to Monster Hunting follows um, the lead, Kelly, who is a, known as a geek, an outcast, and a nerd at her school. And it doesn't help that when she was younger, she said that she saw a monster, then on being known as Monster Girl. Um, and one night, she ends up reluctantly babysitting her um, mum's boss's son, Jacob, and it doesn't go to plan. He ends up getting stolen by the Grand Guignol to get him used to make his dreams come to life. What? And she ends up teaming up with the babysitters and becomes an almost friend to the notorious Liz LaRue. And she ends up having a run-in with the cat lady and then her enemy, the Grand Guignol. Wait, Tamara, so from the clip we saw, we know you lost the baby. So, so have you ever babysat anyone in real life, Tamara? I know you're a huge star now, but... <laughs> no, I actually haven't. I ended up babysitting Ian, who played Jacob, on Ooh. set one of the last weeks of filming. I was like, I need to get this real, you know, practice in um, before I start getting hired. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that was, that was crazy. I got to um, babysit him and his twin sister, which was really fun. All right, so you're keeping really busy, and we, we just saw you in Artemis Matt file on Disney+. Plus. And then now you're here on Netflix fighting monsters with babysitters and all that stuff. And you also did Worst Witch. So what is up with you with these supernatural, superhuman movie roles? I have no idea. I think it's just a theme. I love the idea of magic and I love that the fact that we can make magic come to life making these movies. Um, so yeah, expect more magical movies coming from me because I will never stop. Oh, we know you can't stop. You're magical. And you're so magical, you're <laughs> going to teach me how to do better because I feel like you're one of those people that can do any accent you want. So you're going to teach me how to say certain words. So Because when I say, hello, governor, to people, they say I'm not saying it right. So what's the <laughs> Give me a line, like a, like a sentence, like I, I can say it so people don't say that I'm not good with my English accent. <clears throat> Okay, so we say, we don't really say, how are you? We say, you're right. So you're right, mate. You're right, mate. That you're... was pretty good. Oh, that but... was pretty good. Come on, thank you. <laughs> you're right, mate. So next time you come back to talk to us about your next magical movie, we're going to be like, I'm going to be like, you're right, mate. And you're going to be like, yes. of course I am, bestie. Because no. we're besties. <laughs> Why are you laughing, yeah, you Tamara? <laughs> You'd say, I'm all right, mate. How are you? I'm all right, mate. How are you? I'm doing great because yeah. I just have a new bestie named Tamara Smart. All right, the movie's yeah. called A Babysitter's Guide to Monster Hunting. Premieres tomorrow on Netflix, so check it out.